Now I've put together 10 good reasons why students, why any student would be smart to try and develop an understanding of business continuity, to try and develop skills in business continuity. In fact, many countries in the world have regulations. By law, you have to function. You must have business continuity. There are industry regulations that mandate business continuity. And that's, again, a great reason to do business continuity. Not just because the organization or the entity needs it, but some regulator somewhere, some industry regulator, some industry body, the government, someone has specified that business continuity is mandatory. It must happen by law. If you don't put it in place, you're in violation. And that's why these entities need competent business continuity professionals because it's a compliance issue. It's an obligation. It must be done. That's why they need skilled people. That's why they need you. Now, would they rather hire someone who doesn't know business continuity and give them the training or would they rather hire someone who already knows something about business continuity and so is already partly or fully knowledgeable? In my view, anyone would prefer a trained and competent resource who knows what is to be done, which is why I invite you students to attend this course, get the knowledge, get the understanding, and then up. And I'm sure that knowledge and understanding will help you for your future. To me, all industries, all geographies, all ownership, all entities, everyone needs business continuity. Great career option. Don't miss it. When it comes to the job market, it's always good to be a specialist. Specialists are rare individuals in general. Generalists are plenty, a dime a dozen. Often not much to choose between them. But if you're a specialist, you'll be hired for your skills because that's a skill that organizations and entities need. So attend this course to assess whether or not you like the domain of business continuity. If yes, consider taking on business continuity as a career. In my view, business continuity is a great career. It gives you skills that can be applied globally in any country in the world, literally. Business continuity can help entities to increase revenues and profits. And logically, corporations, MNCs, local corporates, entities would be willing to pay high prices for individuals who are able to help them increase their revenues, profits, and margins. I think that's logical, you'd agree. And not only are you helping increase profits, revenues, margins, but you're also protecting the entity from financial and reputational loss. That's why it's a profitable job area to be in. If you help an entity increase their revenues and profits, surely they'll be willing to pay you well. So my suggestion, students who want to distinguish themselves from others in this competitive world, please do consider business continuity as a career. As an example, all of you may remember the not too long ago incident where there was a worldwide outage literally across the world due to the problem with Microsoft Windows. This was called Cloud Strike. Airlines had to cancel flights. Financial institutions, banks could not operate. According to some estimates, the worldwide financial damage due to this incident, this global disaster, really, is estimated to be around 10 billion US. Think of the number of zeros in that. So wouldn't you agree that against a real loss of around 10 billion US, compared to that, wouldn't entities be willing to pay very good salaries to those who could help protect themselves from such financial damage from this situation or a similar situation occurring again. That's why we say that business continuity is a good profession, rewarding both in terms of the work content as well as financially. So if you want to choose a good career 
to get into do choose business continuity solid understanding of business continuity can give students a competitive edge in the job market be ahead of the others because clearly you can demonstrate your ability to contribute positively to the entity who's looking to hire you and that could be a good reason why they choose you rather than someone else so once you're done with the course if that's of interest let us know and we can guide you and work with you towards the next steps including internships and placements we can refer you to entities who are looking to hire so once you've completed the course please do be in touch that's point number 1 Point number two, business continuity has relevance in any functional area of any entity, in any industry or sector or geography in the world. The principles of business continuity are global, and so a good understanding of business continuity would be useful to students who are keen to take up jobs in any area whatsoever. Not just a position in management, operations, risk, crisis management, emergency response, but also in any other area like IT or HR. accounting finance operations sales marketing legal compliance facilities customer service supply chain r&d students who understand business continuity can seek employment in any entity or industry in any geography and this is a transferable skill you want to move to another country business continuity gives you a good opportunity because the skills can easily be transferred across geographies point number 3 improved problem solving capabilities what is a business continuity we'll get into that later but keep in mind that business continuity requires critical thinking analysis anticipation problem solving all of those are vital skills in any line of work so the process of just thinking in that manner itself would add huge skills to any student skills that you can use for the rest of your life point number 4 gaining an understanding of organizational resilience designing or operating a business continuity program or part of it can help any student to enhance their comprehension of corporate resilience and sustainability this is because business continuity helps students to learn how entities can continue to function survive and also thrive and grow in the face of disruptions or other crisis situations in fact if you are smart about your business continuity response in a bad situation you can gain market share you can do much better than others you can get ahead another good reason for students to understand business continuity value of planning it said that advanced planning is a 90% contributor to success If you have a good plan there's a good chance you may be successful if you have a bad plan you'd be very very lucky to be successful pure fluke pure chance so planning is a hugely important skill the sooner you cultivate it the better business continuity requires proactive planning and preparation and in my view students who learn the value of proactive planning and preparation will get lifelong knowledge and learnings which they'll be able to use for the rest of their life not just professionally also personally point number 6 enhanced teamwork skills the process of business continuity development and continual improvement including exercises calls for cooperation and teamwork participation in such activities would help any student to perfect their interpersonal skills and discover how to collaborate with a variety of groups this again is an invaluable lifelong skill point 7 knowledgeable decision making decisions need to be made on facts decisions need to be made on experiences on your understanding of the likely evolution of the situation okay this is what the problem is how do we see things shaping up what do we think will happen what you need is knowledgeable decision making and that's where business continuity helps understanding the design of the business continuity management system will give any student great insights and others who don't have the business continuity mindset may struggle and may not get those insights over years and years of work 
in my view, students with a business continuity background will be able to make better decisions on any area whatsoever, including strategic planning, including policy creation, operations, functioning of your department, anything. To me, it's a way of life. In fact, while the term is business continuity, many call it personal continuity. Some call it life continuity. It's a way of being. Point eight, awareness of legal and compliance issues. Entities that default on their legal compliance and regulatory obligations may lose their license to operate. And so they could be permanently shut down. Students who understand the entity's legal compliance and regulatory business continuity requirements will be highly valued by the employers because they can help keep the entity in business. Point nine, developing a risk management mindset. Often entities that want to get ahead will have to take risks. That's a fact of life. Sometimes in English we say no pain, no gain. You want to achieve something, it will take an effort. The uncertain always has risks. The risk is less when things are known, but at the same time, the reward is less also. You want to do something new, path-breaking, you'll have to take a risk. Look at the various inventions in the world. Thomas Edison apparently tried 1,000 times. He failed, but he kept trying. And he kept himself going. He says, I now know 1,000 ways in which the light bulb will not work. All I need is to find the one way in which it will work. So if you want to do something new, different, get ahead, you will need to take risks. Students who are exposed to business continuity are better able to recognize how to achieve their objectives despite the risks. They know how to manage the risks in a manner where they can still achieve their objective. And that's a critical skill to learn in the high-risk business climate of today. And point 10. In point 10, specifically for students who want to be entrepreneurs, who want to be self-employed eventually, either now or eventually. It's said that the purpose of business is to be in business. Again, going out on your own involves taking risk. There is always a risk that things will go wrong. But if you have a business continuity mindset, you say, okay, how do I ensure that the business does continue? Students who are keen at some stage to set up their own business will be doing themselves a favor by understanding business continuity because business continuity knowledge helps entities to not just stay in business but also flourish, grow and do well. So the above are 10 reasons why in my view business continuity is a smart thing to do for any student. I do believe that a strong grasp of business continuity can offer students a competitive advantage when you go for a job. I think organizations will be impressed by your initiative, by your understanding, by your desire to get ahead, and through the business country mindset that you would have achieved by doing this course. And that is exactly the kind of person that I would hire or others would hire. So if you want to get ahead, I would suggest business continuity is a great path. So in my view, business continuity is a lifelong skill. The earlier you learn it, the better. But the question is, can business continuity also help students in their personal life? Is it just for your job, the organization, or your career? Or can it also help students in your personal life? And I've tried to give you here 10 good reasons why business continuity can positively benefit any student in their personal life. Point one, career stability and peace of mind. In my view, those with business continuity skills will be able to help their organizations and their entities grow and prosper. Hence, they can personally look forward to annual salary increases, bonuses, stock options, regular promotions. I think that's a good position to be in. Don't you agree? I think anyone would look forward to career stability and peace of mind. You'd want to be in a place where you're happy, relaxed, comfortable, doing well. Organization respects you. Organization values you. That's a nice, comfortable situation to be in. 
it provides the foundation for a long-term career. Many CEOs have been in these organizations for a long time, and that's why they became the CEO. Because they stayed there, kept moving up, kept getting new experiences, and eventually they reached the top job. So I do believe that business continuity can give you career stability and peace of mind. Point two, ability to manage personal emergencies and crisis situations. Life is a long highway. I hope many good things will happen, but at times not so good things happen also. By learning how to handle crisis situations, students can be better equipped to handle personal catastrophes like accidents, health problems, etc. Business continuity gives you a mindset about what could go wrong in your corporate life and how to mitigate such situations, how to manage them, how to minimize them, how to get past them, how to not let that situation create too much of a problem for you. Would that knowledge and understanding not help you personally also? In my view, it would. In my view, if, if you're able to be smart about your professional life, anticipate, forecast, mitigate and advance, then certainly you can do that in your personal life also, not just your professional life. So I do believe that business continuity understanding will give you the ability to manage personal emergencies and personal crisis situations. Point three, better planning and execution for personal activities and growth. Acknowledging the value of planning and preparation helps students to make backup plans for personal projects, academic work, and financial difficulties, and any, and any other situations that students may face, and come out of them in the best possible manner. The emphasis here is not just on managing the situation, like the point above, but the planning aspect. Thinking through personal situations, and planning for your personal situations. What could go wrong and how would you manage those issues? Planning and advance, thinking through situations. So the same corporate skills of planning and ex execution can also help you in your personal life. For adaptability and resilience, students who are exposed to business content principles should be able to bounce back much easier from failures and adjust to changes in their lives. Sometimes it's said that the only constant is change. Change happens constantly. It requires resilience and, ad and adaptability and flexibility. It's a mindset. And someone who has a business continuity mindset certainly will be able to, to take those changes into stride and be able to manage, not allow those changes to slow them down, but in fact, even maybe take advantage of those changes and accelerate. Point five, time management. Time is money. Smarter time management is a smart thing to do. In fact, time is possibly the one resource that you can never get back. So it's a really strategic resource. And you'll see that business continuity is about timelines. And therefore, by focusing on time management, we start to ensure efficient use of resources and the habit of time management that we did that we develop for our corporate life can also help us improve our time management in our personal life juggling the job juggling schools for the kids personal obligations all of that becomes more manageable if you have a business continuity mindset point 6 risk assessment so again, I would believe that business continuity helps you even manage risk in your personal life, better manage risk in your personal life. Students get the ability to assess possible risks and effects. There is risk in everything that we do. In fact, not doing something also often has a risk. So unfortunately, risk cannot be avoided. But what you need, what you do need to do is understand risk, embrace risk, get the best out of risk, use it to your advantage. Students who understand business continuity 
can get the ability to assess possible risks and their effects. And this knowledge and expertise can assist you even in your personal life, making wise decisions about your own finances and careers, about the future and your family life. Resource allocation. Again, business continuity teaches you how to do more with less. We spoke about time being a resource and there are other resources. Money is a resource. Your house, your building, your facility, your car, the tools of your trade, many resources. And you'll see that when you get into the methodology. In my view, students who know how to organize and get the best out of the resources using the business country mindset will be able to prioritize the responsibilities, handle their money better, and, and get a better output from those resources. The efficiency is defined as output divided by input. Business continuity, in my view, helps improve efficiency, being able to do more from less. Lesser input, but a greater output. Certainly, that's a smart thing to do. Point eight, collaboration and teamwork. Business continuity frequently calls for cooperation. This teaches students the importance of communication and teamwork. Business continuity will require you to collaborate and get buy-in from others. You'll need to, you'll develop the skill of cooperation. You'll develop the skill of communication and teamwork. And all of these are great habits for your, for your future not just in your professional life, but also your personal life. Critical thinking. Learning about business continuity planning helps students develop their critical thinking abilities. It will help you evaluate options, analyze the situation, and make wise decisions in your daily life, in your personal life. So again, thank business continuity. So go through the course understand the business continuity methodology and then start developing those skills which you can use for the rest of your life literally each and every day for the rest of your life. Then problem solving ability. Business continuity forces you to be analytical. Mostly it's a database decision based on fact, based on judgment. Often business continuity deals with the unforeseen. This may happen. If this happened, what would I do? Those are skills that can even help you in a personal life. So we gave you 10 corporate reasons earlier. These are 10 personal reasons. Put them together. I hope it's a pretty compelling proposition. Why business continuity is a useful skill to have both professionally and personally. Let's go to another point. Now let's look at which industries you can join if you have a focus on business continuity. The answer is all industries need business continuity. And these are not necessarily in this order. The order can change. And in many of these industries, there are industry regulations that mandate business continuity. And that's again a great reason to do business continuity. Not just because the organization or the entity needs it, but some regulator somewhere, some industry regulator, some industry body, the government, someone has specified that business continuity is mandatory. It must happen by law. If you don't put it in place, you're in violation. And that's why these entities need competent business continuity professionals because it's a compliance issue, it's an obligation, it must be done. That's why they need skilled people, that's why they need you. Now, would they rather hire someone who doesn't know business continuity and give them the training or would they rather hire someone who already knows something about business continuity and so is already partly or fully knowledgeable in my view, anyone would prefer a trained and competent resource who knows what is to be done. 
which is why I invite you students to attend this course, get the knowledge, get the understanding, and then up. And I'm sure that knowledge and understanding will help you for your future. Healthcare. Is it okay if you're having an operation for the power to go for quite some period of time? You're on the operating table and for three hours, the doctors are unable to carry out the operation. Acceptable? In my view, not at all. Is it okay that you're under medical care in a room and the nurses are not available, the doctors are not available, no one comes, no one's checking on you, the monitoring is not happening, your charts are not being maintained? Acceptable? Not at all. So does healthcare need business continuity? Of course it does. Information technology, IT, having systems, data. There are hardly any industries today that are not dependent on IT. Most organizations, if IT was down, would struggle very badly. And the recent CrowdStrike example I gave you exactly confirms the same point. Does IT need business continuity? Of course it does. Does IT need to be continued? Of course. Is it okay for IT to be down for long periods of time? Of course not. Many entities would come to a standstill. So is business continuity important for the IT industry? Of course it is. Supply chain management. What happens if you didn't get your supplies, if you didn't have spare parts? And this has happened earlier. In the pandemic, you saw it happening. Many things were out of stock because the supplies were not there. That means you're stuck. You need something and you can't do it. You're waiting. During the pandemic, you had to wait for months. I remember an earlier incident when there was the disaster in the Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. Many manufacturing entities were not able to operate. So they had quite a major disruption. By chance, around the same time, Thailand had floods. And many of those automobile companies, many of them were automobile companies. Many of these automobile companies also had plants in Thailand, which due to the floods, again, were not able to operate. So you had two major centers of manufacturing that were non-operational. By chance, around the same time, for quite a few weeks, certainly, I know I was waiting for a spare steering wheel. My car was a Japanese car. It took me five months to get that spare, which means that I had to then restrict the usage of my car till I could get a reliable steering wheel. Is it okay for a car manufacturer to make you wait five months for your spare parts? I think not. So does supply chain management need business continuity, need the business to be continuing, be able to respond fast, not have a disruption. If there is a disruption, be able to still restart quite fast. So does supply chain need business continuity? In my view, of course it does. Financial services. What happens if you are not able to access your internet banking for three months or withdraw money from your account? Acceptable? Of course not. Do you expect your bank to provide continuous, timely, quick service? Of course you do. Is it okay for your bank or insurance company to be non-operational, to not be able to take your complaint, to be not able to provide you the services timely? Of course not. I think you would say, of course it's not okay. So does financial services need business continuity, banks, insurance, loan providers, stock exchanges, brokerages, asset management, do you expect them to provide continuous services on a timely basis? I'm sure you do. 
money is a very critical resource and if you don't get your money on time then you'll struggle so does financial services need business continuity of course it does telecommunications what happens if your internet was down i think you'll struggle very badly what happens if you your phone uh, if you can't call someone for 3 days your phone line is not working do you expect telecommunications your telecommunication service to be continuously available of course you do does telecommunications need business continuity very very badly education you've paid for the course you've paid for the teaching but day after day for some reason or the other the class doesn't happen would you be okay with that or would that be frustrating if you're a serious student there's a good chance you'd be upset it's not okay i paid for this my class should happen energy the heating in our houses the air conditioning the power the plugs and i'm using an example of 3 days 3 days no electricity 3 days no heating 3 days no air conditioning acceptable i think most of you will say not it not at all acceptable does the energy sector need business continuity of course it does same thing with the government public services you go to a government office day on day it's not working but is it okay for them to be not functional day after day i think you'd say no it's not acceptable i'm wasting my time running after them again and again it's not okay it's the government it owes me timely service so does the government need business continuity yes it does in fact many countries in the world have regulations on the government functioning there are laws that tell that tell government entities that as a government entity by law you have to function you must have business continuity manufacturing is it okay for a manufacturing plant to be non operational as we said earlier the business of business is to be in business why did you set up the plant if it's not going to be functioning so is it okay for it to be down for long periods of time due to disruptions of course it's not you're losing time you're losing money you're losing revenues you're losing profits does manufacturing need business continuity of course it does retail logistics aviation airports airlines shipping roads trains i can go on and on i hope the point is clear to me all industries all geographies all ownership all entities everyone needs business continuity and within these entities take any entity in any of these industries take any entity in any industry whatsoever is it okay for it to be down is it okay for hr to be down is it okay for the accounting team to be non operational due to disruptions operations disrupted sales and marketing disrupted legal compliance disrupted facilities not available no customer service no supply chain no suppliers raw materials not available in time research and development is disrupted you were in the middle of an experiment you are creating a new product suddenly that gets disrupted is it okay for any of these to have disruptions i would believe the answer is no it's not professional and these are just some areas in organizations there are more procurement logistics warehouses distribution investments fundraising i think long disruptions more than the reasonable timeline are not acceptable in any area of any organization whatsoever so as a student any area you are interested in whatever your mindset whatever you enjoy irrespective of any of these areas you are interested in as a student the business continuity knowledge and mindset can help you so in my view business continuity is a lifelong skill 
the earlier you learn it, the better. So with that, we come to the end of this video. I've tried to give you a sense of the value add for students of having a business continuity mindset. With this, I hope that you are convinced and comfortable why this course is worth doing. They've tried to make the pricing quite attractive for students. It's like our CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. So we've tried to give a very, very highly discounted pricing. And as I said, I am hoping that the knowledge that you get through this course, actually you can use each and every day for the rest of your life. And as we said, not just your working life, you can use this personally and professionally. If you do the maths about the rest of your productive years that you have ahead of you, most of you may have 40, 50, 60 productive years. Do the maths and you can see the huge benefit. How many times you'll get payback on the time and effort. 365 days a year into 30, 40, 50 years. Just do the maths. Easily 1,000 times return on the time and effort. Maybe 5,000, maybe 10,000. I hope as a student you're excited about this opportunity. I invite you to sign up for the course. The course doesn't cost much for students. Come in and do it. Get the knowledge. Get a mindset that can benefit you for the rest of your life. And we wish you all the best.